Hi everyone, um, this is Mickey from Cool Home. I am so glad to e meet all of you in this channel, the webinar, and I will be introducing our new release feature, Kitchen and Bath, and a customization tool today. So our um, KB tool on top of the previous floor planner you used could uh, give you an all-in-one design experience in Cool Home, which allows you to design car, uh, custom cabinets, uh, wardrobes, and work on project designs with a 3D setting and so on. So you will also find that we have provided you thousands of uh, parametric models for kitchen and bath furniture, cabinets, appliances, etc. that you can easily jack into the project and do the design like block building, also to change size and the materials of the models directly. So here is our um, WhatsApp group chat. So we highly recommend that all of you can scan this QR code and join our group chat so that you can get the updated information about this new release feature. And if you've got any questions about th this new feature, you can throw the question in this group chat and uh, our customer service will help you solve that. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. I will go straight into the design interface and walk you through the whole design process step-by-step step so that you can better understand the magic of our KB and customization tool. So here is the space that I am going to reproduce today. Yes, so I'm going to reproduce this one and show the whole process to you. So first, let's create a new project. So um, as you know, we have few ways for you to choose the uh, that how to make the floor plan. So in order to save some time today, I will just import the image to auto generate the floor plan as I prepared. So I will just use the import image. And I'll just uh, select the auto recognition here. Okay, so here is a key step. You should, uh, you need to put the ruler here, which is in order to let Cool Home know what is real size of your floor plan. Uh, wait a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna change it to 4,000, confirm. Then you will see, uh, you know, ready to design a project here. So firstly, I would like to use our AI template to roughly decorate the whole apartment so that I don't need to create the floor ceilings or walls myself. So I'll just select the AI template here and select the whole house. And since it's a three bedroom space, I will choose this one floor type to, um, three bedrooms and to fill out all the three bedroom AI templates. And you will see a bunch of selection here and I'm gonna select uh, this one, yes. Uh, I'm gonna select the Nordic style here and one click applying.
Okay, so it's down. Let's see it in a 3D version. So you can see the whole apartment is fully set and uh, fully decorated. And today I will just focus on the kitchen. So let's go to the kitchen. So I'll just select room here. Okay. Oh, you can see um, still loading the custom cabinets because for a kitchen and bath, usually it will be filled out with a custom cabinet and that will take more time. So I think we can give the uh, crew home some time to load all those cabinets. So however, if a, a whole apartment is being decorated, I think you can save uh, some time when design the whole house space. And when you show the design to your customers, and it can let them to have a better feeling of a whole space design. Okay, so it's here. Uh, okay, since um, I am going to reproduce from the beginning, I'm gonna just uh, delete all the cabinet here. So I just uh, clear uh, custom furniture and kitchen and baths. Yeah, okay. So now we have a blank space to design from the beginning. So let's begin our custom design. So first to enter the customization tool, you need to go to the advanced tool here. Sorry. Yes, advanced tool here. And you can see we have construction, kitchen and bath, custom furniture. And uh, uh, since we are going to design the kitchen, so we'll just uh, click on the kitchen and bath. So now we are in the kitchen and bath tool. So on the left side, you will see the public catalog we provide to all of our users. You can see we have different kinds of cabinets such as um, base cabinet, wall cabinet, tall cabinet, and so on. And we also have some like appliances, uh, the, those 3D models, and we also have materials, bunch of materials for you to choose. You can always click on this button to have uh, like a larger view when you search for the materials or models you want. So these are all free to our users. Okay, so I'm gonna select one of the um, cabinets here to begin building the uh, kitchen. Wait a second, uh, okay. I'll select, uh, I would like to select the base corner cabinet here. This one, and I'll put it here. Okay, so before I go next, I would like to, you know, introduce the whole customization tool interface to you. So after I place the first cabinet, you can see we have several control panel and toolbars appeared. Basically the whole customization tool interface layout is like this. So uh, the right uh, left side is the public catalog as I just mentioned. And the upper side the top side is the navigation bar. And I think you have used this for a while in the, our floor planner. So right, it's, uh, right below the navigation bar is our uh, toolbar. So I think they are the tools that you will use most frequently during your customized design process, such as change materials here. So to change the whole style and uh, we have smart stack corn, which to help you to put those ornaments on the kitchen or in the kitchen or in the bathroom automatically. And uh, it can also help you to generate some moldings and a countertop uh, as needed. Okay, so if you click on the cabinet, it will show up a quick uh, toolbar that you can make some settings specifically for this cabinet. So such as um, make a 3D move or rotate or duplicate. And uh, you can also see uh, it can also uh, generate the countertop or, or moldings. Um, some features are the same as here, but um, this quick toolbar just help you to do the settings specifically for one cabinet. 
So it's more convenient sometimes. And the last on the right hand side, it's our parameter panel, which is particularly in a customization tool as these models are all parametric and I will show how you will use all these features in the later process. Okay, so start the design from the corner with this model and uh, I would like to make the right side against the wall. So which means it will stick together with the right side wall and uh, I would like to change the um, size, the, its width to 600. Okay, so make it smaller and then I'll select, a, put, put in a, another base sink carbonate up here. So do go to the base and I'll choose a sink carbonate. Okay, I'll choose this one and uh, place next to this carbonate. Okay, so you can see for this carbonate, the default was as 600 and I'm gonna change it to 900. Okay, so you can see uh, for this carbonate. Before, uh, okay, let me change it back so that you have a better idea. So the default one is with one door and the, the width is 600. And now if I change it to 900, you can see it's become width. And at the same time, uh, it, it becomes wider. And at the same time, the door becomes two doors. So you can see uh, that's how parametric model works. The structure or the parts will be adjusted according to the size change to fit the best design and the model will not be deformed. Okay, okay, then let's uh, put another one here and I would like to choose one here from the door. Uh, I would like to choose the base starter. Okay, I just put it here. You can see um, the size is changed. Okay, so if I put it here, it's with one drawer and one um, one door, but I would like to make a snap to the next one to fit the better size. Okay, then you can see it changes to the two drawers and the two doors. So it's the same logic as this one. And now um, if we see it in this angle, you can see uh, the carbonate is a little um, step uh, more deeper than the column here. So I would like to make it a little, you know, inner side so that it can align with the column. Okay, just to make sure there, um, I'll just make it 550 to make everyone the same. Okay, now we have finished the one side. Okay, so this one is not good enough. Okay, just make it snap to each other. Okay, so now one side is finished. We can go to next. Uh, wait a second. Then I would like to put the stove uh, carbonate here, which we want to uh, generate the stove later on. So I will still choose here from the, uh, maybe the electrical and make this one. Okay, here, it's good, looks good. And I would like to change it to like, 900 because I want a big stove later on and make it snap to the wall here. I think you can always use your keyboard to like slightly change the position. So which I think it's good for now. 
Okay, so we still need another uh, carbon in here. So I, uh, I'll just uh, go back and choose another same one we just uh, used. Maybe this one, yes. Okay. Then make it a little wider to fit the size. Okay, I think it's good for now, but I think the, okay. So the L-shaped carbonates are all set up at this moment. So now I would like to um, check the inner structure of all these carbonates. So what I will do next is to open the door for all these carbonates. You can just uh, simply use the, your keyboard, uh, control plus O to open all these doors. And you can see, uh, for example, for this one, we have several shelves in that. And you can always change the shelf number for parametric model. For example, you can double click on the inner internal zoom. And you can see a blue frame is selected and then you can scroll down on the parameter panel and uh, you, you will see a custom parameter here called shelf quantity. You can change to five and it will be changed instantly, right? And uh, if I want to two and I just change it. So this is how parametric model works. Okay, so if you are satisfied with the shelf quantity, you can just close the door. Okay, so next we'll generate all those countertops, uh, sinks, and the stove. First, I would like to generate the sinks here. So you can select this carbonate first. Okay, and use the little quick toolbar here or that one is okay too, but um, it's easy to just uh, select the carbonet and uh, select the stove, oh, sorry, sink. This one sink. Okay, and uh, you can always select the sink style here from our public catalog. We have a uh, lot of, we have double style, symbol, single style and a corner one. Since it's a large uh, carbonet, so I just uh, used a, double sink here. Okay, then I can uh, select a faucet style as well. Wait a second, let me redo it. Okay, faucet. And uh, uh, I would like to choose this one. Okay, so all is down and you can just click generate. So it's generated automatically and to fit the size of this carbonate. So next we'll uh, generate the stove. Okay, exit from the previous generation first, then click on this carbonate and uh, um, generate stove. Okay, so the same logic, you can choose the stove style. Uh, since it's a large stove, a large carbonet, so I'm gonna choose this one. It's really like big one. And I also want the chimney hood. You can always go to the next page of it. Um, I'm gonna choose a dark color. Okay, so generate. Okay, so it's all down. So it's perfectly fit in this, you know, the stove, uh, carbonate stove. So last we'll generate the countertop. Okay, just uh, click here, countertop. And you can choose the front edge. Mm, I like this one and the backsplash, I want a roughly uh, relatively higher one and you can also choose the material. 
Okay, so for material, I think it's um, usually for the counter doff, we'll uh, choose stone and I want the quotes and the light color. This one's better and then just click generating. Okay, so it's all set, all the front edge, the backsplash, all things is here. So um, we can see the whole picture becomes clear about uh, the whole, like, you know, the whole kitchen. But I think the carbonate material is not really suitable in this space because we are doing a Nordic style kitchen. So I'm gonna change the material of doors, drawers and carbonates. So basically you can just select the style here in the toolbar. And you will see it allows you to change the cursor's material, the door's material, and the um, drawer's material. So you have to, uh, in order to make them the same style, I'll just uh, uh, choose uh, one material for all of, of this carbonates. So I'll just use this one. Okay, so you can see the cursor's the side panel is changed for this one and also this one. And we'll do next the door material, we'll choose the same one as well. Okay, so it's all changed. Wait a second, yeah. So we still have two drawers that needs to be changed and you can easily just uh, use the uh, material brush here to get the color, the material, and uh, put it on this, these two drawers. Okay, so then it's all set. Okay, then our material are done. So from this material, I think the knob is not really uh, pretty on this kind of material. So I would like to change the knob style as well. Uh, I would like the darker one, I think, uh, maybe, okay. I think this one's good, the matte black. And uh, you will also want to change for the drawer as well. The knob, yes, here. Okay, so it's all set. So uh, basically these are how a kitchen is uh, building. So it's very quickly and uh, you can change the size and the, and the material freely, um, but now it maybe looks a little, you know, blank for the whole design. So uh, in this way, I think you want to make some decorations on it, like such as ornaments, uh, the, the plate, or um, the plants or some pots. So you can, uh, it's time to use our smart decor here. Okay, so you can choose the layout of your kitchen based on the design. Okay, then you can uh, since my uh, kitchen is the L shaped. So I'll just uh, apply this one. Okay, so you can see some um, fruits or some basket or uh, some vinegar or soybeans are on the countertop. And not only on the countertop, but also the inner space to make the design more lively. For example, we can open the door. You can see we have some baskets and we some, have some bowls and uh, plates inside the um, cabinet. So this is uh, why we call it smart decor. Okay, so after uh, this one, uh, the smart decor, um, you may find um, uh, it's a little blank on the wall as I didn't put any, you know, uh, wall cabinets this time. So you can still go to our public catalog. And for example, we have all the stuff here. So we can go to the kitchen best appliance and uh, um, yeah, we have a lot of things here. So for example, I want to put a little 
Oh, this one's too big for, wait a sec. This one's too big. Uh, I'll choose a smaller one. Okay, I think this one's good. Yes, pretty fit. So put some other um, ornaments as you want from our public catalog. Then I think it's all set for the whole kitchen. And you can next do the rendering. Okay, so I think it's first better to um, adjust the camera here. So I would like to stand at the corner of this kitchen and maybe make the camera a little wider look so, so that the, your clients can see the whole design of this kitchen. Yeah, I think this one's better. Okay. Then you can always preview before you render it. Okay, so um, after you make the, oh, sorry. After you make the camera's positions right, you can just uh, click render and choose maybe 4K is better. So this is just the one that I rendered this morning. So it's uh, almost exactly the same. So um, this, that's all for our uh, kitchen building and you can uh, do the same thing to your bathroom and also the other uh, space such as uh, bedroom with wardrobes because we also, uh, other than the kitchen and bath tool, we also have the custom furniture tool, which means uh, you can build uh, maybe desks, um, beds or um, wardrobes, this kind of things, okay? So that's all for today's webinar. Um, just to see if you have any questions and don't forget to join our WhatsApp group so that we can answer all the questions you have.